Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 16 of my Let's Play of Momus Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. We're about to solve the magical girl problem. Oh, I already read that introduction to you last time, but I went back and leveled up my characters and collected all of the monster girls up to this point, including the ones in the one-time dungeons. So anyway, that's why you've already seen it and I hadn't cleared it away in this save. This version of the save. So this is Magical Marinchan. She's a magical girl. So would you like to be a magical girl as well? This is your big chance. Right now, there's a big meeting of the hopefuls. Ah, quit playing with your pleasant words. And don't try and rope people into this. We know that the power of the magic girls is actually the hate, is actually witch's hatred. Okay. Anyway, we're here to put a stop to this dangerous ritual. Uh, but the magical power is built up so much. If we don't hold the ritual, then the power will burst out and fly off everywhere. Ugh, jeez, it's that late already. Yeah, if we don't fix somebody as the next magical girl, the hatred will have to go somewhere. If that happens, It'll spread out into the vicinity and cause disasters. So we do need to select a magical girl and, well, impose all the hatred upon them. In other words, these magical girls are the targets of the imposition of hatred. You use such bright words to describe it and entice people in. That's just mean. Well, there is no such thing as a fantastic power like this that's all that convenient. How cynical, jeez. Okay, magical girls live covered in hatred. That's the only way they can go. That's what I wanted to say to the last person selected. Uh, thanks? Okay, fine. We're going to participate in the selection ceremony. Selection test. So somebody from amongst us is going to become the magical girl. Uh, really? Is that all right? Well, rather than let it fly out to nowhere in particular or having somebody bad selected, yeah. If it's one of us, then we can put it to good use at the least. All right then, that's a new ent that's a new entry, another hopeful. It's just about time for the registration to stop, so you're just in time. The ritual is going to start. Okay, so this selection ritual, what do we do? The magical girl hopers are going to gather in the big swamp to the east, and it's a no holds bar. Hold no holds barred battle royale. The last one standing wins. It's a physical contest like that. And so, hurry, hurry to the Eastern Swamp. They are all the magical girl hopefuls are your enemies, so try and survive to the end. All right, let's go. We've got to get our hands on that power. If you say so. Ah, the Battle Royale has started already. So let's search for some enemies and beat them up. Alright, let's do this! Is it really alright to do this like this? Okay, first things first. Gunyuri. That's the sound of a slime girl collapsing on itself in exhaustion. 
pas tant que... That's the sound of a dog girl collapsing. Not exactly on itself, but still in exhaustion. And this is Elias. She, sees the, she says she's the one most appropriate to be a magical girl, but... So you're participating, and you've lost. I feel sorry for those girls. Anyway, this is the other group we can see. As expected, you came, Alice Fees. Given your form at the moment, you would try to become a magical girl. Think of your age, you. Hey, don't say rude things to mother. We're going to be the first ones in history to win as a mother-daughter pair. Um, good. Good luck with that. And most of the others have been defeated by us. The ones remaining are... You guys, and one other. No way. The battle royale's progressed that far already. Just us and one other. Well, it's simply that they were too weak. So, we're going to beat you up too. We'll let you know who's appropriate to be the next magical girl. We won't let you do it. Heh. No way. We lost. Oh, how frustrating! Well, the seat of the magical girl we are going to claim. Alright, so the remainder is only one person. If we defeat them, then the magical girl qualification comes to us. So, somebody from amongst our number is going to become the magical girl. Of course, it's Luca. Do not want! Well, while you're talking about this, how about we have interject a bit? Won't you allow us to become one of your allies? You're going on a journey around the world, right? It seems like so much fun. Uh, allies, huh? What do you think, Luca? You can say yes or you can say no. No, we don't want you. We're grateful for the warm welcome. From now on, let's fight together as allies. We'll do our best, so it's a pleasure to be working with you. Even though we refuse, they're naturally just ignoring us. Ah, how troublesome these guys are. Hey, they're awesome in their own way. Okay, so there's one final remaining hopeful to defeat somewhere in the swamp. They're waiting for us. This is almost where we met... Promising? No, it wasn't Promising. Mephisto. Actually, she was standing in this square, and this witch is standing in that square. Anyway. So, you guys are the final magical girl hopeful, huh? But I'm going to claim the magical girl state. I'm telling you, think of your age! Your age! Hmm, she doesn't look that bad? Well, whatever. Alice probably knows what she's talking about. Oh, truly, you say such rude things. My heart is a girl, so... I'm qualified to be a magical girl. In this incident, I've gotten a bit tired of pointing out the absurdities. Huh. How about I be the magical girl, she says. You are the number one least suitable for being a magical girl. That's mean! Uh, anyway, the power of the magical girl is too dangerous. That's why we need to get our hands on it and manage it. Well, that's pretty selfish a line of reasoning itself. But 
Amongst the hopefuls, we aren't deciding this in an argument. This is a competition of power. So, I'll show you who is most qualified to be the magical girl. Y hero. It's not me! <laughs> hmm. Oh. Do you believe in fortune telling? Um, sure. Oh, how honest. Good guy. Good boy, good boy. Oh, to think my magic power wouldn't be enough. Ah, little hero. It looks like you are the most suitable for, to be a magical girl. It's not me! So, the new magical girl is decided. Congratulations, hero Luca. It's not me! Give up already, it's you. So then, I'm going to uh, award the hatred power to you. Luca, are you ready? In the end, it's me, is it? Furthermore, you straight up called it hatred power. So, gather up the hatred. Luca, receive her properly. If you... If you relax your spirit too much, it'll discharge accidentally, like your first sexual experience. And now it's sexual harassment. Oh fine, just lay it on me. Man! Wait right there. I'm putting a stop to this ritual. Oh. That's right, Alice said that her mother might actually send somebody from the army. And by somebody, I guess... She... Oh, she's cutting in, is she? Granvelia! On Mother's orders, you're here to stop the ritual? Indeed. This forbidden... magic... The Mao has... Ah! Don't just suddenly barge in like that. What? Ooh-ah! I think that says it all. Well, here's some more. Oh. Well, you look very nice. <laughs> um, how should I get... How do I return from this? You need to chant, Magical Grandaria, cast off. Are you joking with me? I can't say, I can't put out jokes like this. I don't have the liver for it. Ma Magical Grandaria, cast off. It looks like it didn't react because you didn't put your heart into it. Um, hmm, okay. Magical Granberia, cast off! That says it all. I'm leaving. Hey, yep. Hey, she actually had a walking sprite in that form. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so... The new magical girl was decided. It looks like it'll be quite a while before the hatred builds up enough for the next selection. I hope she's not killing herself. Let's act like we never even saw that. Hmm. So, the ritual was concluded safely, and everybody lived happily after after. 
what's safely here and what's happily ever after, I don't know. But if you're fine with it, let's just leave it at that. So, I'd like you to give this to that dragon girl. You guys are acquaintances, right? This is the magical girl contract. We don't mind, but we don't know when we're going to meet her again. I don't mind a bit. Now this nuisance is finally off of my hands. Mm, by the way, it's been bothering me. Why is she standing here like it's the most natural thing in the world? Well, I've gotten interested in your powers. So, I thought I'd come along with you. You know? It looks like, even if we refuse, it's no good. You're going to force yourself into our allies. Hey, hey. Pleasure working with you. Witch? Her name is Witch? We already have a girl named that. Okay, then. Man, I am so tired. Well, let's get ourselves back in order and continue our journey. So, it got four on Grand Valley and everything's handled, so back to the journey. Hmm. Oops. I have a few more things to do before wrapping the episode up. So, in the item shop at the Succubus Village, there was a Removing arrows potion. Let's call that. It's probably... Well, it's something I'd like to get in my shop, so... Without a doubt, it's a special good from the Succubus Village. So, in order to get it in my shop, let's go there. Yeah, sure thing. Succubus Village. There it is. This place actually had an item. Oh, like an item shop. Funny what happens when you go into buildings. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, a customer. So stuff. Greetings, I'm the Merchant Vanilla. I'd like to get my hands on the... What did I call it now? Removing Eros Potion. Well, it's a special product of the village. If you want to sell it, we have one condition. In my storehouse, I've got too many potatoes. So, sell them in your shop as well. My storeroom is at its limit. Oh, you got that much a surplus of potatoes, huh? Okay. Here's some merchant talk. Alright, so you get the removing arrows potion and the potatoes. Remember this little lady. Overstocking is more dangerous than being unable to sell. I'll inscribe it on my liver. So, it's a pleasure working with you. Sounds good. Now, I didn't think it would be this easy, so I didn't actually come back here and look at it, but oop, what the hell, the bells above girls all ended up here. Let's talk to the funny one. Modernity is scary. The modern age is scary. It's so much different from what we read in the books. These dango are pretty tasty. What are you doing? Elias has died. 
The cities are overflowing with monsters. The humans are killing themselves. Killing each other. And there are multiple mouths competing. This world is truly hell. I want to go back to the ghost ship. Already. I think we should set up a multiple... A generation ship to float out there for hundreds of years. Wait. I haven't finished my dongo yet. So, to sum it up, you're not going to be causing trouble to the people of the world anymore? What can we do right now? Oh, the ghosts of the past have it so easy. This world is already hell. The modern age is so terrifying. But the dongo are pretty tasty. See, this girl gets the prize. Hmm. So it seems your ambitions have disappeared. It's true if you're locked up for several decades, then the sudden changes of the, of the past few have, would be pretty heavy on you. So, with this it's concluded. And I can finally move on. No, this isn't concluded. Do you plan us leave here in this violent era? Us lost... The, us poor lost flies. <laughs> oh, are you honestly playing the pity card? We're going to have you take responsibility here. You need to provide us with the necessities of life. She's literally phrasing it like a welfare plea. Oh, whatever. Dango. Win. Okay, so... They're not even asking if they're joining our party. One's named Bob Barreda. Another is... Storigo. Striga. And last one's Media. Hmm, well this worries me, so I guess I can't move on to the next world after all. And so, Senene will be accompanying us from now on too. Well, she was originally the Pirate Queen. She does love to go on a good adventure. Now she's properly an ally. Why is it I'm always surprised when I become proper allies with someone? Maybe because I don't even think about them as temporary allies. Hmm. Ah, yes. Next up is... Right through here... I forget what they called it, but it's a little dungeon. You have to pass through to get to the desert. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time when I go through there.